Hey everyone, Haley Minogue here in Pensacola on Klondike Road where sheriff's deputies are telling us that they have found a male victim. Uh, he's been shot. Um, they've got a big portion of the road here closed off for their investigation right now. They don't really have much information other than male victim shot. So, um, sounds like a homicide investigation is underway. Let's see. Let's see this Stacy, this is on uh, Klondike Road. Uh, it's off of Wild Lake, kind of near Pine Forest. Yep, I got it This is in Pensacola. I don't want to zoom in too much. Um, they are a little bit further down the road doing an investigation. We're on Klondike Road right now in Pensacola. Uh, there is a kennel near where this investigation is going on. It sounds like the person was found on the side of the road. Um, I spoke with a neighbor just a few minutes ago. She didn't want to go on camera, but she did say that um, she heard shots earlier today and then heard an ambulance, but didn't really think much about it because this is kind of a uh, more rural area where people do have guns and will, you know, do shooting out in big open fields and things like that. Um, so she wasn't, she wasn't sure, you know, didn't think much of it. So once again, this is in Pensacola on uh, Klondike. They've got a big portion of the road closed off right here so they can do the investigation. I don't want to zoom in because um, it sounds like from, from everything we've heard that there is still a body down there. Um, so we don't want to zoom in uh, or you know show what they're doing as part of the investigation. But you can't see, let me see if I can. It does go a, a little bit of a ways down there. It is in front of the, ken the kennel, Kathy, you're right. Let me see if I can. <laughs> That's right, Tiffany, it's off Mobile Highway and close to Pine Forest. Channel WEAR 2.1. It's got a pretty large, significant chunk of the road closed off. Um, tons of police presence, deputy presence, excuse me, investigators, uh, crime scene investigators. Of course, the, the uh, Escambia County Sheriff's Department is asking if anyone knows anything or thinks that they might know something, um, give, give their dispatch a call or give crime stoppers a call. Let them know what you know. Um, so just again, it sounds like all that we know right now is that there is a male victim who was shot and is deceased um, on Klondike in Pensacola off Mobile Highway near Pine Forest. There are um, several investigators that are here on the scene, lots of police presence. And if you know anything, please give Crime Stoppers a call or give the Escambia County Sheriff's Department a call. I'm going to step backwards a little bit. off the stand here. It's a pretty windy day. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. I guess it's live 
Uh, Leslie, the name of the victim has not yet been released. It sounds like they're very, very early on in this investigation right now. Yeah. Um, all we know is that it is a male victim, yeah, adult. I'll power back up. Okay, so for those of you that are just joining us, um, there has been a shooting on Klondike in Pensacola, Mobile Highway and Pine Forest Road. Um, the victim is an adult male. Um, he suffered a gunshot wound and it sounds like he is uh, now deceased. Um, we don't really know much at this time. We don't know his name. Um, of course, we don't know possible motive or anything like that. So very early in the investigation. But if you do know something about this, go ahead and give. Oh, gotta get out of the way. Go ahead and give uh, Crime Stoppers a call. Let them know what you know. Mm. Are you tall enough? Um, someone just said, is this a bad neighborhood? Um, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't say that. I don't think any neighborhood is a bad neighborhood. I think that there are bad people that live in neighborhoods. Um, I talked to a neighbor a little bit earlier. She didn't want to go on camera, but she did tell me that, um, this is a community where there are a lot of people that have guns, um, cause it's a little more rural and, you know, people are hunters and, on the weekends that she'll hear people out shooting their guns so it's nothing unusual to hear gunshots but it's not necessarily in a violent or criminal manner that, that she will hear gunshots um, I don't think it's really fair to say any neighborhood is a bad neighborhood I think this kind of thing seems like it can happen anywhere um, but the investigation is still underway right now So Trisha said, where is this? Um, it's on Klondike, actually. It's um, between, it's around, you know, Mobile Highway and uh, Pine Forest Road. But um, it seems like it's right in front of the uh, kennel that's on this street. It's a little bit further down that way. Um, investigators are still on the scene. That's why I have this image very zoomed out. Um, because the victim is still on the scene as well and um, we want to make sure that we give that person privacy and give their family respect, keep it zoomed out, uh, let investigators, you know, do their work in, in private. Very windy day out here today. Um, someone said, do you have the car type? No, I'm not sure of the uh, car type right now. There's very little information.
Uh, Crystal, this is on Klondike Road. So just to recap what's going on right now, um, we are on Klondike Road. Uh, we are off of Wild Lake and Mobile Highway is down on the other end of this, all the way at the other end of this street. Uh, there is a dog kennel that's up this way a little bit, but um, sheriff deputies are telling us that they have found a, an adult male deceased shot uh, that's all the information that we have right now. Uh, investigators are on the scene doing everything they can to figure out exactly what's going on. Uh, we are keeping it zoomed out because there is still an investigation going on. Um, the deceased is still on the scene. So we want to make sure that we, you know, provide privacy for that family and for the victim as well. We don't have a name yet. Um, I spoke with a neighbor who lives in the area and she told me she didn't want to go on camera but she did tell me that um, it's a more rural area there's a lot of hunters in the area a lot of people that are gun owners so she didn't really think much of it when she heard a gun go off this morning um, and then she heard an ambulance shortly after and didn't think that they could be related um, Alright everyone, well I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this live stream. Um, I will be back and update as soon as we have more information. Um, so make sure you keep checking in on our Facebook for more information. Um, and we'll post as soon as we know more.